Joseph is coming. For since the beginning of the creation, all things continue as they were from the beginning. And I'm just going to live my life, and I'm just going to go on and do what I want to do. Well, Noah was laboring in the will of God. And in a generation of about a billion people, if not more, the scripture says eight souls were saved. And as it was in the, in the, in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. Jesus said, straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leads to life. And few there be that find it. The Bible says, by him and for him were all things created. By him and for him. But ask yourself, is your life a life of anarchy against the Lord Jesus Christ? Are you living in rebellion to his holy commandments? Turn to the Lord and die to your rebellion and die to your self-will. Take up your cross and follow Jesus Christ. He only dwells in light and approachable. He only has immortality. It's appointed unto man once to die, and after this comes the judgment. And there's a fire prepared for the devil and his angels. And all men who deny the words of Jesus Christ, and everyone that thinks they're wiser than Jesus Christ, there is a fire prepared. There is a fire prepared for the scorners. And a fire prepared for the mockers. There's a fire prepared for those who don't believe God's word. There's a fire prepared for all liars. There's a fire prepared for drunkards and for fornicators. And the Bible says to save yourself from this untoward generation, that means perverted generation. Save yourself. This is a perverted generation that we live in. They have perverted the right ways of God, and you are part of it. Save yourself and repent. Repent of your sins. Turn to Jesus Christ and take his word as it is written and believe it. Believe the gospel and you shall be saved. Oh!